so, Paul, yeah. so we're going to put a mask over your face just to give you some oxygen. This operation is different. So we're going to start the anesthetic and we're going to give you a little something that will make you feel a little bit sleepy. Patient Paul okay. is having part of his lung taken out. Called thoracic surgery, it's the most painful surgery you can have. So they'd normally use powerful drugs called opioids, things like morphine and fentanyl, to control that pain. They're just getting the patient Paul ready. He's having part of his lung removed. But that's not what's unique about this operation. What's unique is the drugs that they're giving him. Rather than opioids, they've been trying a cocktail of other drugs for the pain. Opioids can have side effects like lethargy, confusion, breathing problems, which could mean a longer stay in hospital. So the benefit we've seen after using this technique through the audit that we've performed is that patients wake up quicker, stay, stay less time in recovery and also spend less time in the hospital. Opioids can also be highly addictive. It's an epidemic in America where millions are hooked to their pain relief. This technique does have potential to reduce the risk of opioid addiction after surgery. If you give too much opioids, they paradoxically cause more pain and more pains with more analgesics and these patients then go home with repeat prescriptions and, and that's how uh, they unwittingly get addicted to opioids. Um, can I start? Yes, please. Starting. The new technique's possible because surgeries become more skillful, going in through ever smaller incisions to reduce pain. But this is the only team in Britain, and one of just a handful in the world, scaling back opioids for such a painful operation. The message is also to our GP and other medical practitioner that are involved in control of pain. So if you can do thoracic surgery, you can also control other kind of pain using an opioid-free and multimodality strategy. The operation's gone well and Paul's off to recover. Results so far suggest patients on the new drug regime have been leaving hospital around a day earlier than before. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Royal Papworth Hospital in Cambridge.